Last episode, we maintained our unbeaten run with big results and a thrashing against Sevilla, so with eyes on the top of the Premier League, can we keep it up? going on respect the jeff here for season one episode five in this chelsea career things are going according to plan so far and even though we've already had some of our best players be out in tough career events to fight against we are still undefeated but this takes us to the career event for this episode and here's what we got to do guys keppa has impressed the board in his appearance from last episode and since they spent so much money on him they want us to give him one final chance so we have to start him in goal for the next three matches is this a redemption arc or will he only play these three and then be sent back to the bench? Only time will tell, but we're gonna give him a shot here. Match sharpness probably will be an issue. He hasn't been played at all this season aside from that one game, so we'll have to see how things pan out here. But it's an order from the board and we gotta follow the career events, so this is the way it works out. But in some good news, Fikayo Tamori has changed his mind. If you guys remember from the last couple of episodes, he put in a transfer request and wanted to move away from the club in search of playing time, but we gave him a couple games and he has had a change of heart he wants to stay he's committed to Chelsea and I love to see it as a Chelsea fan in real life having our youth players stick around so he signs on as a rotation player for three more seasons and we'll be able to see him develop under us during that time uh, so why not <laughs> we're gonna put him on the bench for this upcoming match Christensen really has not impressed at all he's made a couple key mistakes and with Thiago Silva still out just coming back from injury right now I think Tamori deserves a spot here as maybe a sub so with Silva back it leaves only Timo Werner still out through injury but that one hurts because he has been our best player this season so we go into the Arsenal match with Pulisic on the wing instead with that said let's get to it all right, here we go at the Emirates, a tough away matchup against our local rivals. Keppa in the starting 11, and he's going to be the talk of the town right now. How will he fare against this Arsenal attack? Only time will tell. We'll have to see here. Although it is Chelsea on the front foot to start with. It's out wide with Chilwell, who puts a cross in for Pulisic, who blasts it over the bar. Did not hit that the way he wanted to, but he got himself in a good position. And an opening warning there for Arsenal to worry about. Ceballos plays that ball through and Kepa out there to smother it. Fantastic opening minutes from the goalkeeper here. And he has kept us in this match. Really good stuff from him. Havertz now trying to open up some space. Finds Conte. Nothing comes of that move though. Aubameyang coming forwards and Rudiger trying to close down. He throws himself at the ball. A definite foul there. A little reckless in challenges from time to time. Rudiger and Arsenal from a dangerous area now. Booted away by Conte from the cross coming in from Willian. Ceballos again linking up with Aubameyang and it's snuck through for Martinelli. Really good play here. Sliding in, it's Azpilicueta. Martinelli, fantastic feat, but even better from Azpilicueta to get back and recover there with the challenge. Always so good 1v1 on defense. Now Pulisic getting forwards, looking to sneak a ball through. No one quite ahead of him here. Chilwell linking up and it's too hard on the pass. He just overhits it. What a play that would have been. Pulisic looking pretty sharp out here so far. He's been a good replacement for Werner out on the wing. Uh, and we'll have a little bit of a selection headache when he is back and fit to see who's going to start. Kovacic for Pulisic again. Taking the ball out wide and he's dragging Maitland Niles with him. Fantastic footwork puts his defender on the floor and Kovacic can't finish past the goalkeeper. It's a good movement there from Chelsea to create the opportunity. And once again, Williams through. Keppa is out there to make the catch. Really well done from the keeper. He's looked pretty assured in that back line. Some time off, obviously, in real life. Struggling huge and probably does not have a future at Chelsea, if I'm being honest, at the time that this is recorded. But uh, why not? If he's playing well in FIFA, we'll give him the starts here. And Pulisic makes that look so easy and puts in another ball. Abraham can't finish, but he's creating so many opportunities. Ziyech now. Oh, how about that? Dancing past his men. Chelsea growing in confidence. And it comes in for Abraham. Weak header down at Lano. Some good opportunities here, but neither team able to break the deadlock. Flicked back through, and again, Pulisic saved by the keeper. We just can't score, but we're giving it our all here. Saliba forwards now. Conte closing down, and he wins it back, takes a touch, but it's won directly back by Gabriel, who plays it through. Pepe, and again, Kepa. That's as good as a goal from our goalkeeper. 92 minutes in, surely the whistle's going to blow now. And we do just see it out for a draw. A little disappointing. I thought we were probably the better team overall, but Arsenal with a couple really good chances. And honestly, if it wasn't for Kepa out there, I think we could have easily lost that game. All right, so next up, we take on Ren in the Champions League. And Ruben Loftus-Cheek looking to get involved here. 
Hasn't had too many minutes yet, but he's definitely one for the future. Obviously a bright prospect in real life as well. And we're gonna heavily rotate the team, guys. Tamori and Silva in the back line. I wanna start getting Silva back into top shape. Uh, Reese James, obviously our man for the future going forwards at right back. So I wanna see what he can do. The rest of the squad mostly unchanged. Loftus cheek in there. Let's get to the game. All right, here we go. Some new phases in the lineup. Tamore, one to watch out for. Keppa as well, making his second start in a row here. And Tiago Silva back from his long-term injury. And we're really going to be hoping here that he can come back in and solidify our defense. He was one of our better players before he went out early in the season here. I will be keeping an eye on his return here too. Obviously, he's like 36 at this point, so he's not going to be getting any quicker. And hopefully, he can at least just bounce back to the levels of fitness that he had before the injury. Because uh, like I said, he probably was our best defender. And he starts strong here. Ren getting forwards and Thiago Silva. Right place, right time as always. So good in terms of reading play and making interceptions there. And he keeps our back line looking steady for the time being. Ziyech getting forwards now. Cutting inside on that strong left foot of his. And he keeps going. Looking to create something over the top. Hudson Adoy perfectly placed pass down on the chest. And he's got an opportunity now. Who whips it in for Abraham? Couldn't quite complete the move there, but it's good stuff from Chelsea so far. Although the ball slid in for Kamavinga, who scores. Tomore just losing his man at a crucial moment there. And Ren find themselves in front. That's poor, poor defending from us. And now we find ourselves a goal down. Ziek plays through James, who's trying to whip a ball in with his strong right cross coming inside Loftus Cheek, looking to make an impression here. Given the start, uh, as per his request, almost manages to keep that on target, but it is just off the crossbar and out. Ren playing out from the back now, and the ball headed down. Tiago Silva looking like he might get caught out for pace just then, but again, his ability to be in the right place to make that interception was crucial, and this time it's played through for Hudson Adoy, who levels things up 1-1, and he's given the start out on the wing and delivers with a goal. Great build-up play to find his feet, and it's a good finish into the back of the net, and just like that, we are back on level terms. Not too much else in the first half here, but coming into the second, Ren get themselves back in front with a well-worked goal, and once again, our center-back partnership losing their man again. Well, last time I pinned it on Tamori, this time Tiago Silva getting caught out and just some rustiness back there. Neither one of them has a great understanding uh, with each other so far, but unfortunately that has put us down and we need to get back into this game. Reese James trying to make up some ground here, flying into the challenge and unfortunately gives away a free kick in a dangerous area here. Chance for Ren to grab a third, possibly here, and it's headed down into the back of the net. Nothing Keppa could do about that. Well, we have completely lost control of the game so far. Ren in a dominating position here, two goals up, and we gotta quickly make up ground if we wanna salvage something from this game. Obviously undefeated until this point in the season, and we really wanna try to keep that up. Hudson Adoy, despite that goal actually not looking too great, gave the ball away several times here, and Ren continued to bomb forwards. So we gotta make something happen here. It's some subs coming on, Conte and Pulisic, Let's see if they can change the game for us because we need it. Havertz linking up well and Pulisic using his pace to get in behind. What can he do? He's through on goal, takes a touch back outside, looks to have a shot blocked. Maybe not the best touch from our number 10, but he's trying to make something happen here. Coming in again, header to the top of the box. Pulisic shot from distance. What a goal that would have been. And it forced the goalkeeper into a save. I think it was on target. Not bad at all. That is a much better hit from him. Pulisic been playing really, really well this season. Probably deserved to start in this match, but I was trying to rotate a bit. And another chance coming in. Abraham point blank saved by the keeper. And we just can't find our second goal here. Things not looking good with only a couple minutes left in the game. And it's a ball played through to Moray. How about that? Outstanding challenge. He had no right to save that. And it was a surefire goal if he got another touch through. And now we spring on the counterattack. Havertz, Loftus-Cheek, rolling his man, plays it through again, Pulisic wide open on the far side, and he's off sides. We can't catch a break while well, Pulisic has given it his all in the last couple minutes of this game here. And again, game not quite over yet, Pulisic, awesome oh, dazzling skills in the box, sets up Havertz, can't get the shot off again. Well, we threw everything we had at the end of this game, and we still find ourselves two goals down come the final whistle. So it is our first loss of the season, a tough one in the Champions League. We got off to a good start with two wins in our opening two matches, but we drop points on our third opportunity out here. Not good enough from the team. We definitely have to bounce back soon and keep our heads up high and keep our momentum going forwards. It's back to the league after this. And with some mixed performances from our players, I got a lot to think about. All right, next up, it's Newcastle. Not the toughest opposition in the Premier League, so 
Uh, hopefully it's a chance for us to bounce back straight away. Looking at the table, we're still in fourth place, level on points with Manchester City. Arsenal three behind us, and it is getting pretty tight up there at the top of the table, so we need every point we can get. So for the next game, Silva will be back on the bench until he's up to fitness. Rudiger uh, will start just because he's so sharp at the moment. Ziek and uh, Pulisic on the wings. Abraham up front. Let's see if we can grab some goals this time around. Havertz makes the start as well, so we definitely got our strongest team out there. All right, here we go against Newcastle. Tammy Abraham leads the line, and he's been our source of goals since Timo Werner's been out. Pulisic looking pretty strong in his last couple appearances, too, and he will be looking to impress to solidify his starting spot here, and he just keeps going. Pulisic, <laughs> he drove all the way through the Newcastle midfield into their back line. Couldn't quite make that final uh, move through, but it's not bad at all from him. Ziyech looking to link up with Havertz. Couldn't quite find that pass, and we have not found our groove just yet. Although Pulisic cutting inside and has his shot blocked not too far off. It looked like it was going to be on target. He was shaping up well. Newcastle headed in our direction now. Joel Linton settles it down for Hendrick who plays it out wide. Almi Roan on the ball now. As for the Quita does well to win it back. He's been a rock for us defensively this season. And now Havertz charging forwards and he sneaks through a pass. Tammy Abraham, what vision from Havertz to pick him out. And Tammy could not finish. Havertz almost there on the follow-up, but the chance goes missing. Well, that was a fantastic opportunity. Good as you like. And Tammy Abraham finishes from the corner. Well, he couldn't do the easy work in front of goal. 1v1 with the goalkeeper. But he does make good work of that difficult chance off the corner in the back of the net. And he does get his goal finally. Oh, beautiful vision there from Ziek to pick out Chilwell on the wing. Cross field ball, lovely stuff. And now Pulisic cutting insides. Kovacic through Abraham, cuts it back, and it's in the back of the net, but it is offsides. Abraham just straight off at a crucial moment there. We almost doubled our lead. Joe Linton now getting the better of Kurt Zuma. Blasts one and Keppa with a strong wrist to it to keep that chance out. And Keppa on his third uh, contracted start here, according to what the board requires of us. Uh, but he's been looking good. And honestly, uh, he's done as good, if not better, than Mendy has all season. So he could be keeping his spot uh, come next match. Kovacic down for Havertz. Test the goalkeeper. Saved with the feet. And Abraham there to clean it up and grabs his second. Well, Havertz did all the hard work with that volley there. It was great link-up play from everyone involved in Abraham uh, there to poach a goal like usual. Right place, right time, and that is a great quality to have in a striker. And it looks like we're back to our best at this point. The attacks just continue to bombard forwards. Havertz gliding through the pitch. Gets the better of one man, but couldn't beat the second there. And he's starting to get up to form now. Havertz still with possession, cutting inside. And he just keeps going, plays it through for Kovacic, takes a touch, and he couldn't get around his man. Not a bad opportunity at all. And coming towards the second half here, we are in fantastic shape. Really good stuff. Tammy Abraham, two goals already. Uh, and he's been scoring goals for fun all season long since he stepped into our starting team here. Really solidified his place as our striker here, although maybe speaking too soon. Gave the ball away there. Havertz plays it through for Kovacic, winning it right back. Havertz... In the box, cutting inside, surely, no, that is a terrible, terrible finish. He did everything up until that. Good link up play, won the ball back in the first place and just blasts it wide. Conte though, playing it through again and Havertz does finally get his goal. Well, you don't see that kind of flair from N'Golo Conte too often, uh, but I guess the team is feeling up for it tonight. Abraham plays it through a clever little back heel flick into space and Havertz there to clean it up. Really tidy finish into the corner and you gotta say he's deserved that. He and Pulisic have been on fire and Pulisic beating his man with ease there. <laughs> though again, couldn't get past the second. And Murphy now out on the wing, putting a cross in. Silva, the substitute, coming on and already looking comfortable there at center back as we try to get him back up to top match sharpness. And we do see out the game, not any opportunities after we cut off there. And we see it out 3-0. Fantastic stuff to bounce back and get back into winning ways for Chelsea. All right, well, it's a break in league action again as we take on the EFL Cup. Next up, it's MK Dons. Not the toughest opposition we'll face, that's for sure. So, some heavy rotation in the side now. Silva, like I said, is still getting back up to fitness. Uh, we're going to put Tamori back in, too, as we try to get him some more minutes. Reese James, uh, why not? We'll give Olivier Giroud the start up top. Gilmore in the center of the pitch and Mount and hudson Adoy on the wings. And let's see if this team has what it takes. All right, here we go back into action again, and Giroud kicks things off. He's barely had any minutes all season, and let's see uh, if he can impress us out here. hudson Adoy, one to watch out for, too. He's one that I really see for the future. Hasn't really looked too good this season, but he's still young, uh, and I can't expect too much from him so far. Loftus-Cheek, another one also to watch out for on the ball now. 
And he's cutting insides. Good footwork. And he's still going. Loftus cheek test the goalkeeper. That was on target and definitely gonna go in. Crucial save at a crucial moment from the MK Dons keeper. Quick look at that replay. Hudson Adoy just makes it look easy. So silky smooth on the ball. That was a great shot at the end of the move. Reese James closing down, does well on the first opportunity, but it falls to a second and again poked away. And now Hudson Adoy is away in space. Bombing forwards and using his pace. Can he pick out a pass? A little shimmy, cutting inside Giroud. A couple options ahead of him, looks to sneak it through. Laid off again, Gilmore in space. Touch gets away from him. Good defending in the end. And another opportunity gone missing for Chelsea. Reese James closing down again. Ah, it gives away a free kick in a dangerous area though. Reese James, he's done that a couple times for us. Obviously, uh, he led to that goal that was scored against us, uh, against Wren in the Champions League. And he's definitely going to have to refine his game a little bit if he wants to start taking over that right back spot from Azpilicueta. He's just not quite up to the same defensive levels uh, as our captain for the time being. And again, Reese James getting caught out of possession. Mason out into space, takes a good touch ahead of his man. And Thiago Silva there to clean it up. Fantastic stuff again from the center back. Just sees that shot out wide, inch perfect, slide into space and Giroud plays it forwards now Loftus cheek sneaking it through Mason Mount he's in 1v1 with the keeper and a beautiful finish but it is called offsides every single good opportunity we've had here has just fallen apart at a crucial moment MK Don's still definitely within this game Thiago Silva heading it away he just looks better and better by the moment Thiago Silva definitely uh, pretty much up there with how he was pre-injury and I'm looking forward to seeing him for the rest of the season here Giroud Loftus cheek Fantastic link-up play here from Chelsea, Jorginho. Continuing to play it through. One touch passes, Jorginho. And again, played through for Mount. What a lovely goal this would be. Mason Mount cutting inside. Has it with his right foot. And again, doesn't quite test the goalkeeper there. Great build-up play and just not the right finish at the end of it. So it's Abraham and Ziyech coming on. Can one of them separate these two teams? About 12 minutes left in the match. And we just haven't created that much yet. Well, that could be changing here. Jorginho through for Abraham, and he's through on goal. Fakes the shot, cuts inside, and that is a lovely, lovely goal from Tammy Abraham coming on and immediately making an impact with his first touch of the ball. Ziek playing really well in that center mid role already with the vision to set that ball up for Jorginho, who plays it through for Abraham. And look at that goal again. That is absolutely outstanding from our striker. Top, top form right now. And again, just growing in confidence here. Ziyech looking really sharp in the middle of the pitch. And look at that vision played through for Mason Mount. Deadly cross whipped across the face of the goal, but it is kept out by the defender. And Abraham again off the post this time. Oh, he just can't stop with the opportunities at goal. And we're clinging to a one-goal lead here. MK Don still definitely within a reach here. And Tamore just pokes it away at a crucial moment. Although given back away from Mendy, who is back in goal for this game. Headed at goal again, and Mendy keeps that chance out, and it's a good thing he did, because he was the one who set it all up. And we do just see the game out, a close call in the end, but we do take down MK Dons with a one-goal lead. The fans are happy. We're moving through to the next round of the EFL Cup, and some good performances from young players there. But Tammy Abraham steals the headlines again with a crucial goal to see us through. All right, well, some good matches for us. Unfortunately, we did have that loss in the Champions League to take down our undefeated season so far. But we're in great condition here, still sitting in fourth in the league. And next up, it's West Ham away. That will come next episode, though. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you've been enjoying this series, please consider subscribing to the channel. It means a lot, and I will continue to roll out new videos here. But until then, I'm Respect the Jeff, and I'll see you next time.